Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Deech here, and I'm once again joined by my son DJ. We're out here in New Orleans. The French Quarter is right there behind us. There's this place we want to go to to get some what? Sodas. Some sodas and candy. Come check this place out, man. This is going to be awesome. currently walking down Decatur Street. There's plenty to see and plenty to do in the city of New Orleans. I love seeing the horse-drawn carriages in the city. Just adds a nice touch. New Orleans founded in 1718, also known as the Crescent City because of the shape of the river that the city sits in. Pretty cool. Just up ahead, Café du Monde, famous place to get beignets and coffee. There's music everywhere in the city. The ambiance is wonderful. I love it. Let's continue on. I think this is a good spot to cross the street. There's the French Quarter. All right, we have crossed the street and we're walking up to where we want to go, Rocket Fizz. This place is awesome. Soda pop and candy shop. Let's go inside. As soon as you walk in, you're greeted with this wall of soda. Wow. There is a lot of candy in here. Look at these old candy cigarettes. Very cool. And they've got different packages from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. All kinds of new and vintage candies. So much to choose from. So the owner, Joe, he's born and raised in New Orleans, and he saw an episode of Undercover Boss about Rocket Fizz back in 2014. He thought New Orleans really needed one, so he worked some magic to buy the franchise for this area. And in July of 2015, he opened Rocket Fizz New Orleans right here on Decatur Street. This place has a very large selection of various sodas, including weird things like ranch dressing, I think we're going to try this. We'll add it to our little collection we've started here. We've got watermelon down in there also. We've got bacon with chocolate. Should we try it? Yes. Hmm. I don't know. No, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see what else we can choose from this grouping of sodas here. They've got pickle soda. I don't know. Should we get that? I don't know about pickle soda. Maybe not. Oh, what do you see down here? Is that peanut butter and jelly soda? All right. Yeah, let's try it. It can't be too bad. What about dirt soda? Should we try dirt soda? No. No. Over here are some more candy. We got sweet tart ropes and sixlets. I love sixlets. I used to eat those all the time in the 80s. Idaho spud. I don't know what that is. Oh, here's a bunch of Harry Potter stuff. 
Oh, that's cool. A chocolate wand, chocolate frogs, the crazy jelly beans, and more sodas. They got red velvet cookie dough bites soda. That sounds pretty good. Should we get that? I feel like we should get that. What do you... Oh, you've got... Oh, okay. You got the fudge brownie cookie dough bite soda. Good choice. Good choice. They got some interesting ones down here, too. Big selection. But this one caught my eye. Fog soda. I don't know about fog soda. What about pirate piss? Their selection of saltwater taffy is unreal. There's so much. And they don't have just candy. They've got all kinds of cool little like posters and stuff on the wall. Old concert posters. That's pretty neat. I like that. And these crazy animal masks they've got <laughs> they've got hanging up here. I like this one. This cat mask. Bacon soap. Hmm. But I do love bacon. Some of your more traditional candy here. Got some Sour Patch Kids, Charleston Chews, Twix Bars, Laffy Taffy, Baby Ruth, this giant lollipop. I love that thing. Look at that. That's awesome. Got dots and Chico Sticks and Sour Smog Balls. Hmm. And a public toilet survival kit. <laughs> and if you want your soda cold right away, they've got the Rocket Fizz Soda Shack. These coolers keep them cold. And look, they've got Big Red Soda. I love Big Red Soda. They've got weird sodas, but they also have all these great, good flavored sodas too. Lots of different root beers and cream sodas and, and all kinds of stuff. The wall of soda in the front of the store is complemented by all the little bottle caps around it. That's pretty cool. And it shows off the various flavors that they sell here in the store. There's a lot. There's a lot of interesting things here. That There's mustard again. Black licorice. Sweet corn. Interesting. <laughs> there's the fog soda. Ooh, chocolate soda. I have to try the chocolate soda. Now I'm a big Richie Valens fan. And I like seeing this, the soy capitan soda. <laughs> Down here, you've got butter soda. Uh, that might be good. I don't know. Cucumber soda? That could be That could be tasty. One thing that would not be tasty is barf soda. I will not be trying barf-flavored soda. There's just no way. Peanut butter soda, maybe. I could go for peanut butter. Maple syrup? Coconut cream lime. Now that sounds good. Bacon soda. Sweet corn. And we got the bacon soda, but we got bacon with chocolate. Some more of their candy. They got runts and sugar babies. The old big pixie sticks back here. M&M's, Skittles, Sour Patch Kids, Spree. More Laffy Taffy. Mamba. I like Mamba. Airheads. Runts. Dr. Pepper jelly beans. And what is this? A zombie brain gelatin mold. Here's some more of the candy cigarettes. Do you remember candy cigarettes? I remember in the 80s they had these things and they were eventually banned from stores or whatever, but I used to like them. I always thought they tasted like the little fun dip, the little white sticks. So I'm going to get some because I haven't had these since I was a kid. Ah, the whatchamacallit bar. I haven't seen these in a while. I remember the commercial. Whatchamacallit. Getting the Almond Joy. Good man. Here in the back is a giant collection of all the different types of root beers available here. Some local stuff, some national stuff. Very cool. And speaking of local stuff, you can come here and get stuff that's not candy. You've got some seasoning, some crab boil, some fish fry. All local brand stuff. That's pretty cool. All mixed in with this other candy. Some Razzles, Sweet Tarts, more candy cigarettes. 
Laffy Taffy, Reese's Cups, Big League Chew, nice, Swedish Fish, Now and Laters. All right, what do we have in this corner? We got some Abba Zabba, Raisinets, Big Hunk, some Jolly Ranchers, Black Cow, Munchies, Turkish Taffy, Mike and Ike's, the Lion Bar. Never heard of this. Lion, black and white. I'm going to try it. Now, a lot of people don't know, Curly Whirly used to be the Marathon Bar. It's now made by Cadbury, and it's the exact same thing, just as good as it once was. This looks like some Japanese candy here, some high chews, Pocky. I like the Pocky stuff. That's good. Pocky sticks. Now, what are these? Something called jubes. And it's these little, like, gelatin cubes in this jelly type substance or something. I don't know. Looks like it may be orange flavored. Weird. As a musician, I like this a Fender Amp lunchbox. And some other lunchboxes, a smiley face. Some more candy hanging on the wall. Ooh, the uh, candy necklace, the long version. I don't see those too often anymore. Werther's Originals. And a big display of cat products. <laughs> so if you're a cat lady, this is for you. There's a lot to choose from. I, I, I want to try everything. It's like candy that I grew up eating. And there's candy I've never even heard of before. It's, it's pretty awesome. I think we're in the United Kingdom area. It's some caramel biscuits, chocolate orange, aero bars, bueno, Maltesers. Yeah, I think this is the British candy. The Kinder Happy Hippo. This is unicorn slime. I'm not sure what that is. I would assume it tastes good, though. I don't know. <laughs> this is cool. This is a... One of those fidget spinners, but as a lollipop. And they got fun little trinkets and stuff too. Some fake barf and gummy burgers and whatever this is. A dinosaur egg that you can crack open. Good for like stocking stuffers too for Christmas. Got the Haribo Fizzy Cola Bala Sticks. <laughs> some tropical Laffy Taffy. I don't see that much. Some more Big League Chew. God, I haven't had Big League Chew in years. The DJ is filling a bag up of saltwater taffy. Various flavors. And they have a lot of flavors. There is a lot to choose from. Huh, I like these finger hands and the Bigfoot finger feet. Oh, Whistle Pops. Deej, that place was awesome, wasn't it? Yep, it was uh, epic. That was, there was so much stuff to choose from. We, we just didn't know what to pick, so we just picked random stuff. It was so much fun being in there. The place is just packed with sodas and candies and, and goodies and just all kinds of awesome stuff. The owner was really nice, man. Joe, good guy, really good guy. Y'all need to come to this place. Come check it out. Get some candy. Get some soda. Just awesome. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little land yap from these who dads. Right here at Rocket Fizz in New Orleans. Good place. Go pass a good time.